the universal law of gender that says that there are masculine and feminine energies at play all throughout creation, constantly seeking balance. This is represented in the metaphor of the cherubs at the gate, the male and female experience of these two entities, which actually represent a reality of ourselves at a higher level that welcome and let something move back and forth. See, masculine and feminine aren't just about gender and what we understand as like body parts or male and female. They represent energies. And these energies can be named in many different ways, as many things can. So sometimes it's, I've heard it called as like aggressive and receptive, or this giving and receiving, or even like a push and a pull represented in the yin yang or in magnetics, as we understand it. There's these polarities, a positive and negative, not good and bad, but simply two different polarities that work together to bring balance. And this works all the way through. See, the gate is only important to the realities of what's on either side of the gate. And I really like the words David used last week of being and becoming, one on each side. Another way I like to look at it is there's spiritual essence and then there's material form. So we could see this as heaven and earth. And these cherubs, these angels, these dimensions of ourselves are meant to actually be this in-between point between the material form and the spiritual essence of being, of who we are, and to provide a portal with which these two can connect. And that is, in some sense, a way of describing our role as an emissary of divine light, of being inside this space of this portal between the spiritual essence of being and that which is becoming through time and space in material form. And that's also what we've been exploring in our attunement class. That's also the lack of it. Is one of the main things I see is what humanity has struggled with over centuries and eons. Relating only to the material form without a true recognition and respect for the being an essence that lives inside of every form. We had a beautiful exercise of looking into the eyes of another as an angel. And I know that every person who did that experienced the pure being behind the form of those eyes. I know that every person who takes time to connect with and embody their own angelic presence and looks into the eyes of another person can have that experience. But it's not limited just to people or animals, plants. Every single thing in our created universe is being inside of its core at its essence. And as we come into the space of recognizing the being within all things and relating to that through the being of the divine presence that we are and living in that reality, we are automatically being in attunement, bringing attunement, sharing attunement, being that space within the gate or the doorway that connects two worlds, knowing they are the same. We lift up in vibration in that way through our love. May this be how we live in each and every day.